Hey there, it's Duke Ferguson, owner, CEO, and master trainer of Unleashed Potential Canine and creator of Dog Training Genesis. In a few minutes in this video, you're going to see a dog that came to me with some serious aggressive issues, uh, actual bite history. Um, it was a little bit more on the defensive side. Apparently this dog was teased at a young age by drunk people and uh, well, that's never a good thing. So you're gonna see the finished product of the dog actually ignoring a bunch of distractions that we put on him um, and look at his attitude and demeanor towards it. It's a really important thing. But right now I just want to talk to you first about what is the art of attention because a lot of people ask me or a lot of people think the art of attention is just getting a dog to look at you and that's simply not the case at all. Um, if you could picture the art of attention is more of a training recipe, okay, if you will. And in this training recipe, I can adjust the ingredients to suit the dog's temperament needs, the owner's needs to get the dog to pay attention. Because that's a big word that we use every day. It's an art, and it's not something that happens often, to get your dog to pay attention. Now, one of the biggest things that I find in society when I meet people or potential clients, one of the things I ask them is, what are your goals? And they just like, I just wish my dog would listen to me. I wish my dog would pay attention to me. So the art of attention is not just having the dog sit and stare at you. Although, that is one of the coolest features and behaviors that we teach at Unleashed Potential, severe distractions. And you're gonna see that at the end of this video. It's a system that we basically teach that will literally unleash your dog's potential. We put this into a lifestyle, and it's gonna do, it's going to empower your dog, and it's gonna get your dog to pay attention to you, no matter what, no matter when, no matter how. It doesn't matter the distractions, and we want the dog to do that with heart and soul. That's an important thing. And at the end of this video, I'll give you some key tips on some of the core factors that you need to make this happen. The art of attention actually gives some power to the dog because they find their advantage in this system. We like to get the dog to think that they're the ones actually in control of their consequences, even though we have a role to play in it. It's also about relationships. When you establish the art of attention, you will definitely have a much more stronger and closer relationship with your dog. I mean, how else are they going to see you as more relevant than all the rest of the world and distractions? So let's get back to the video clip with the aggressive dog that I want to share with you. He has learned to see scary things in life as good things. So no longer does he need to live in fear. Instead of things taking matters into his own hands, or should I say teeth, he can look to the handler to trust that he'll not be put in a harm's way at all, no matter what. And you can see the distraction is pretty extreme. The dog looks at this way. If the boss is calm and happy, then I can be too. I'll just ignore this bullcrap, what's going on, and make my boss happy. And then I'll get paid real well. So <laughs> enjoy this. Check this out. If I get this comfortable, other dogs you still may react to it, and people you may be with, it's easy to get attention so that what I can do is I can get him to pay attention to me. 
So once you establish the art of attention, and it doesn't have to be the dog, like I said, staring at you. This is just something we like to show how much attention you can get. But if your dog is just calm and cool and paying attention to you, doing whatever you want, after time, your dog is actually going to learn to be relatively calm and cool and ignore things in the world and actually be quite happy and relevant because that's where most of the meals take place and they're going to love it. So you start off with no distractions and then you kind of wean into them. I mean, like you're seeing here is a very serious distraction. It's one of the finishing products, but why I put so many distractions into it is I say, look, Doug, if you can ignore this amount of crap in your life, then the rest of the world is going to be bloody easy. And I don't mean just ignore it. I mean, actually enjoy to ignore it because they know that good things come. So the dog actually thinks, Hey, cause you can see right there, he's pushing the handler. He's like, look, look to me, look to me. Right. And there's, all that handler's saying is good dog, good dog, and I'm pouring on the distractions and the threats, and the dog goes, where's my meal? I don't care about that guy. Picture that. you got a dog that's aggressive, he's nervous, you've done a ton of it, and it can be different ways. Paying attention could mean going to place, sitting there, not moving, and someone approaches and feeds the dog. Now, you got to do this safely, but the potential is just blown away. You unleash the potential in any dog when you do what we teach and you actually understand fully the art of attention. So now I'm going to give you the tips I told you I'd give you. Number one is you need ignition. What that means is you need a hungry food motivated dog willing to work. Number two, you need com clear communication, meaning you need a marker system. You got to be able to communicate to the dog tell him what he's doing right, what he's doing wrong. Number three, you need leadership and you need training. How else are you going to get him to do anything without training? And actually training helps you build uh, part of your leadership system. Number four, you need to work on this consistently every day. It's kind of like building muscle. You go to the gym every day and you work out and eat healthy and a lifestyle, well, you're going to see fantastic results. If not, you know, you want to work out, drink beer and eat pizza on the weekend, that's your own problem. You'll never see your abs. So if you'd like to learn more about the art of attention or how to get your dog to you know, listen and respond to you no matter what, no matter where. I got a couple ways you can do that. Number one, see an Unleashed Potential trainer. You can find one on our website. Um, they're located in Canada and the United States so far. Number two is if there's none in your area, you can actually get access and purchase my online training videos called Dog Training Genesis. Uh, it's actually the standard for professional dog trainers. Now, um, if that's not enough, if you're actually a professional dog trainer and you'd like to come to my school and train with me and learn more in depth about this, then you can also go to the website unleashedpotential.ca. I will, at the bottom of this video underneath, I'll put the links for your convenience in the description box. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube page, like it, do all those good things, and share it if you want to show the love. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in another video.